Live from the WDIO Broadcast Studios, this is Good Morning Northland on Channels 10 and 13. It's a big day for members of the Duluth Nurses Union. In the next couple hours, they will be voting on whether to authorize a one-day strike. Many are unhappy with the latest contract offers from the local hospitals. Reporter Katie Roos spoke with union leaders who are recommending the nurses reject the offers. This was the scene at St. Mary's Hospital a little over a month ago. And if nurses vote down the current contracts on Wednesday, this informational picket will turn into a full-blown one-day strike. Very disappointed that we have to get to this point. We were very hopeful, even up till the end, that, that it really could. We could work something out. Um, very disappointed. We, no one wants to go down this route. Yesterday, union members publicly declared their support for the strike, which could affect 1,300 Duluth area registered nurses. The union wants the contract to allow nurses to make decisions about the number of patients they can handle. Hospital officials say they are unwilling to grant this request because they don't want to give RNs a special privilege. Nurses say they don't want special treatment, just the ability to do their job safely. Well, I think nurses, you know, uh, are the ones, uh, you know, with the patient. They're giving you the medication. They're determining making life and death decisions. So if I'm a patient in the hospital, I want the nurse to have that authority. SMDC, which employs more than two-thirds of the RNs in the union, hopes nurses will vote no to the strike, despite the union's recommendation. My hope, of course, is that we can avert a strike, uh, and uh, we've been doing everything we can to help that come true. After the union rejected their final contract offer, St. Luke's released a statement saying they are prepared for any contingency and will continue to deliver high-quality, safe, and compassionate care to our community. In just a few hours, union nurses will be able to vote here at the Copper Top Church. If two-thirds of the voting nurses reject the current contract, a one-day strike will be authorized. In Duluth, Katie Roosh, Eyewitness News. If the nurses approve the strike this morning, they must give hospitals 10 days' notice before they walk off the job. Duluth nurses will vote today on a new contract offer. Contract negotiations with SMDC and St. Luke's have reached a stalemate, and nurses are being encouraged by union leaders to reject the proposal and authorize a one-day strike. Nurses are asking for contract language that would allow them to temporarily close a unit for no more than two hours if they are stressed on resources. Nurses and hospital administration have been going back and forth on the issue since their contract expired in June. SMDC officials say they feel that they have bargained in good faith and stand by their offer. St. Luke's says its final proposal exceeds the contract Twin Cities nurses ratified earlier this summer. However, nurses say that's not true. We know that they can do better and we believe that uh, patients uh, um, really need more nurses so that they can be safely taken care of. They have been trying, but there just isn't close enough. It's when it comes to temporary unit closure, they want to say that we have to take the patient and then we'll figure out what to do. That's just not right. The union needs at least 66% of their members to reject the contract to automatically authorize a strike. SMBC and St. Luke said that they are prepared to handle a strike if it should happen. Live from the WDIO Broadcast Studios, this is Eyewitness News at 5 on WDIO WIRT. But first, Duluth nurses are deciding today whether they'll accept final contract offers from the hospitals or go on strike. The latest when we come back. More than 1,300 Duluth nurses are voting on whether to accept contract offers from the city's hospitals or go on strike. The registered nurses are started casting votes early this morning at the Copper Top Church. Union nurses vote to ratify their contracts every three years. However, this year, for the first time, union leaders are recommending members reject the contracts and authorize a one-day strike. Negotiations have been stuck on the issue of staffing, with nurses wanting specific contract language to give them the authority to add staff on busy days. I voted because it's important that we send a message to our management team that that we're not satisfied with the offer they have given us, and we need to work on it some more. 
The nurses' union hopes to have the votes counted tonight. We'll have an update on the news at 10, and if they do approve a strike, they have not yet set a date. President Obama wrapped up his three-day campaign tour by talking about his economic policies. And Live from the Northlands News Center, this is the KBJR 6 and Range 11 News at 6. After two months of failed negotiations, Duluth nurses are voting today on a contract that could result in a one-day strike. Bua Zhang was at the polls today. She joins us now with this story. And Bua, what was the mood like when you were out there? Well, Michelle, nurses are really hoping that they get enough votes to reject this contract today and authorize a one-day strike to send a message to hospitals. After months of failed negotiations, it all comes down to this vote. If the nurses' unions from St. Luke's and SMDC get 66% of their members to reject the contract on the table, a one-day strike will be near. I myself am very sad that we are here um, proposing that our nurses should vote this down and to do a strike. I was really hopeful that we could have come to a decision and come to a settlement with our hospital and, and hopefully we still can. The big sticking point has been contract language about staffing levels. Nurses want to be able to decide when enough patients is enough. Hospitals say that decision cannot be up to one individual. The decision to um, take a, a patient for care really needs to be a team decision and to allow one individual in that team to deny uh, acceptance of a patient uh, is just not consistent with uh, St. Luke's uh, vision and values. Nurses say the hospitals have offered counter proposals but say they have not been good enough. It keeps things the way it currently is and we believe that there needs to be changes to what the practice is and so that nurses can practice safely. Both hospitals say they have bargained in good faith and believe their offers provide safe staffing. We feel that we have made a very good offer to our nurses. We've worked hard to address some of their staffing concerns in that offer. Michelle, officials with both St. Luke's and SMDC say they have plans in place. If a strike is authorized tonight, voting goes until 8 o'clock. Now, if the nurses vote for a one-day strike, do they know when they will walk off the job? Well, there's no uh, set date yet for that. If a strike is authorized, though, the union must give the hospitals a 10-day notice, and then they'll go from there. All right. Thank you very much. That was Bu Zhang reporting on Duluth Nurses. Still to come, a big announcement about broadband coming to the city of Superior. Will there be a one-day nurses strike in Duluth? Nurses voted today. Live from the WDIO Broadcast Studios, this is Eyewitness News at 10 on WDIO WIRT. Duluth nurses have overwhelmingly voted to authorize a one-day strike against local hospitals. Over 90% of SMDC nurses and 86% of St. Luke's nurses voted to reject the latest contract offer. After months of talks, nurses at the two hospitals were unable to reach an agreement. Nurses have been deadlocked in those negotiations over staffing levels. The Duluth nurses say they want specific language in their contracts that would allow them to adjust staffing levels as needed. This has never happened before that we've had to come to this point. Uh, the nurses are not happy that their hand has been forced into taking a strike vote, but at the same time I think our nurses are really rallying in a way maybe we haven't seen here in a long time. Union nurses vote to ratify their contracts every three years, and today's voting began as early as 6.30 this morning. The current contract expired July the 1st. For the first time, union leaders did recommend nurses reject the contract. And now that Duluth nurses have authorized a strike, authorities from both sides will meet later this week to set a date for that strike. Brett Favre is back and ready, already practicing. Duluth nurses take an historic step to strike against SMDC and St. Luke's Hospital. Live from the Northlands News Center, this is the KBJR 6 and Range 11 News at 10. Turning to other news, the votes are in and Duluth nurses have overwhelmingly voted to reject St. Luke's and SMDC's latest contract offer. Bua Zhang was at the polls all day and joins us now. Bua, this is just the beginning, isn't it? That's right. Nurses say that they hope this rejection tonight sends a signal to hospital administration that a new conversation about patient care must start now. The union says 90 percent of voting nurses at SMDC and 86 percent of voting nurses at St. Luke's voted to reject the contract tonight. The union won't say how many nurses voted today, but did say there is a clear message with such huge numbers rejecting this contract. Duluth nurses and hospitals have been going back and forth on 
contract language that would allow nurses to determine when enough patients is enough. They say tonight's vote is a step in the right direction. It keeps things the way it currently is, and we believe that there needs to be changes to what the practice is and so that nurses can practice safely. No new talks have been scheduled with the hospital. St. Luke's told us tonight they are disappointed in the vote. The union say they won't, uh, they don't know when they will plan to strike yet. They say they hope hospitals will talk with them soon so that that won't have to happen. Now, Boo, some interesting things happened with hospital administration as well. Right, and we haven't confirmed this yet with SNDC, but nurses that I spoke with today said that they uh, were called into a meeting this afternoon and informed that the Vice President of Patient Care, Terry Uberg, was let go. She was in charge of all the nurses at SNDC. Uberg has been with SNDC since 1983. Thank you very much. That was Bua Zhang reporting on the nurses' vote here in Duluth. The 28-year-old Duluth man suspected of robbing a U.S. bank on Maple